Hello, hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again, once again. So, um, today I am bringing you how much you will be charged in Ghana if you tell anyone to do who is into this architectural business how much you roughly you will be charged. You understand, roughly, because so many people charge differently. So many people charge differently. I charge differently. Some people also charge differently. So you can compare prices. You understand? But um, I know I'm very affordable. So don't worry about that one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please and please again, do subscribe to my channel. And click on that notification bell. And subscribe. And turn on your post notification for me. So that I will do what? I will be bringing you more videos like this. Thank you. I hope you watched my previous video and um, I brought you um, how you can buy land in Ghana and um, this second episode that I'm bringing to you is about um, how much you can be charged if you want a building plan or an architectural design yes so for example this architectural design or this thing, this design that is in my hand now, it's a fuel station in my hand. When you look at this design, it contains a, a loop bay and there is um, a building behind, a building behind and there are tents with their dispensers and everything. You see everything here. This is a drawing that I did or a design that I did for someone and the amount that, that I charged I will tell you so I'm coming I want to show you another drawing and this design too I did for someone and when you look at this one it's a residential building and this one too when you look at the structure it or the, or the design itself you can see how it looks like this is how the building if they they finish everything this is how it is going to look like yes and this one to the person that i did for everyone wants to know the price that i charged but um when you open this drawing for instance let me tell you the details. When you open this drawing, for instance, it is, it is not just this. We have the site and block plan. The site plan and the block plan. This is what you will see when you open the design, like inside the drawing itself. This is what you will see. And the next sheet also shows the ground floor plan. And the window schedule it shows the ground floor plan and the window schedule then the next sheet also shows the first floor plan the first floor plan because it's a it's a story building it's a one-story building we call it one-story building so it has the first floor plan and the next sheet also shows the elevations. That's the front elevation, the back elevation, the left elevation, and the right elevation. And the next sheet also shows the foundation plan and the 14 details. The foundation plan and the 14 details. All these things are supposed to be done when you you do what you tell any architect or any draftsman or any one who do your um, architectural design for you this is the things that you have to see in your architectural drawings so the next sheet is 
the roof plan how the roof will look like how the roof will look like and the next sheet again is the cross-sectional view and some details of the roof and also column details the column details or the pillar details the concrete pillar details and the next one is you know we have different types of columns in this particular drawing so the first one that i showed you was a different column and this one too is a different column that's a different pillar and we have the lentil details the beam details and also another column detail because we have three different types of columns in this particular design yes and showing you the next paper is it's a story building so we are supposed to have a slab a concrete slab at the top on top of the ground floor that will accommodate the next floor or that will receive the next floor so this is the details that's the how the iron rods are going to be arranged this is it we have all these details in it and this is a cross-sectional view of the slab and also the beam details the beam details and after that we have the stairs that's the staircase the details of the staircase how the stairs will also do what look like and it's schedule and after that we do services that services plan that should be your electrical plan so this is an electrical plan of the ground floor and the next sheet is the electrical plan of the first floor because it is a story building a one story building and the next will be the plumbing details you know every house you have to do plumbing that's um, how your how water will come into your house and when you and when you use the water how the water works will go out this is the details and after that the next thing is um, I usually do fire plan but this particular design I did not do the fire plan for this particular drawing but I usually do fire plan because um, we have to have that in case of any fire or if the person builds their house they are supposed to provide fire gadgets and everything in the house in case of fire so that they can use um, the fire gadgets to do what to quench off the fire so this thing that you are seeing the last sheet that you are seeing now is the septic tank detail and the fence wall in africa usually when most people build their houses they fence it in ghana especially they fence it a lot most people fence their their buildings so this is a fence wall plan and the septic tank plan so these are the things that if you bring your um, if you tell any architect to do a design for you this building that you are seeing here or this picture that you are seeing or this building every detail of the house is supposed to be done so this design, for instance, the person that I did for, I roughly, I knew the person though, so I did not charge much. Well, everybody charges differently when it comes to architectural works. And also, it depends on the type of design that you bring to the person. So, I can say people will charge roughly from five hundred dollars upwards that's thousand dollars twenty 
two thousand dollars three thousand dollars four thousand and even five thousand depending on how your design looks like so whether it is commercial or residential buildings depending on how the structure looks like you are going to be charged according to your design yes this drawing was done as i think way back in 2017 way back in 2017 but it also depends on the design that you will bring if you bring a, a, any type of design that you will bring it will require the amount that I'm, I'm supposed to charge you understand so it varies you can bring um, let's say a, a single story building and um, the price wouldn't be that much yes so if you need my services or you need anything from me any information from me just um, look in the description box I have my email there just email me and um, all on all social media platforms just DM me and let's talk just DM me and let's talk and I think um, any other information that you want to know if you are not from Ghana or you are not in Ghana and you want to know anything about like purchasing land in Ghana or any property in Ghana you can DM me so that we talk so as I said this I'm going to do what be bringing you subsequently bringing you and um, what you need to know about building in Ghana basically yes so um, thank you for watching the video I thank you so much um, if you are new here please and please again subscribe to my channel and if you are a retainee watching my video right now I thank you so much please if you haven't shared my video before please share my video for so like for other people to also do what see and also um, um, watch my videos so um watch out for the next video that i'm bringing about building in ghana thank you so much thank you